Well, today we've got a brand new 2021 Jayco North Point. And uh, this is actually quite unique. It is a 373BHOK. I'm going to show you a few things on the outside. I don't typically do that, but uh, on this one, I do like it. I feel it's warranted, so, well, here we are. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is kind of show you this uh, rear kitchen. It's nothing huge, but it's definitely more than nothing. Nice black stone griddle that comes out. A little uh, RV fridge, and yep, that's right. That is a slide out in the rear, so that was why I wanted to show it to you kind of is cool that way um, it does have uh, six point hydraulic leveling as well weighs about 14,000 14,000 pounds so definitely gonna require a truck of sizable magnitude to get this thing uh, going down the road all right so this is uh, the living area of this unit like the table no knee knockers as I call them no table supports uh, sitting in the middle so you can kind of slide in slide out do your thing pretty straightforward Stacy Stewart collection our recliners these are uh, of course got power options here so wanted to throw that out there I am gonna spin you guys this way kind of check out uh, the living area um, since we are at the recliners though I'm gonna move across you do get a fireplace course your stereo and uh, of course storage kind of throughout range kitchen and uh, this little nifty thing I'm actually a fan of this you just give this a little kick and the TV pops up no power just uh, all under shock power so pretty straightforward um, getting it down is uh, just a matter of pushing well, locks so big huge oven Nice big stove, storage throughout. Um, did a little bit of uh, digging. This is actually designed for a cutting board that's up underneath the front bed. Storage, all that good stuff. This, uh, this fridge and freezer is uh, just huge. Ice maker, you don't see that in these things too often. It is residential, so we'll have an inverter most people who are camping in this are going to be plugged into power anyway, so I do like their Jayco clock. I don't know why. I'm a fan. It is what it is. USB power ports hiding down in here. Plenty of uh, deep storage as it were. And uh, now I'm going to have to walk you all the way to the rear. I guess I'll show you the kitchen sinks. It is separated. Got some trash in there. Everyone nowadays should probably know what that is, so no no surprises. Uh, this one does have a loft. I don't know if you caught it on the intro, but uh, a little staircase going up. And of course, you can uh, turn the lights on, kill them, that kind of thing right there. So up in the loft, you can go straight in. There's some headroom, but this is more of a child's area, I would think. Um... Pretty straightforward, wired for a television back there in the corner. There is a roof vent, so get some airflow, power, USB, all that good stuff. Stairs are uh, a little steep, so maybe your small, small ones might be a little, a little afraid of that, but I'm sure they'll get by it, camping and all. This would be what I'd call the kids' bathroom. So kind of roomy, kind of spacious. Uh, I am going to warn you, and I'll pull my sunglasses off. I'm six foot tall. I'm uh, I'm hitting my head, so you're going to have to duck if you're an adult getting in and out of here. All right, which side of this opens? Still get a medicine cabinet, even though you're in a kid's room. And of course, I didn't click that. And then there is a little bunkhouse slash uh, TV room back here. So television is over here. It's on a fold swing mount. Some dresser drawers. Pretty straightforward. Nice hanging storage in here. Um, I am a fan. Well, this table mounts here. But I am a fan of this bunk up here. They've got this nifty little slide system. So all I can do, and I'm doing this one-handed because i got a camera in. Slide it in. It locks into place. 
I like that. A lot of the other ones are a little uh, terrible. Blackout roller shades. Pretty sweet there. I'm just going to sit back here, maybe get a shot, because there is a ceiling fan up here. They do a good job with uh, the backlit LEDs. No more carpeting. Carpet is gone. I don't even know if most people picked up on that. There is a central vacuum cleaner down here. This is that uh, inverter controller I talked about. I know I showed this, but this will kind of drive your whole camper right there. Fan control, all that good stuff. Motion activated light. Hopefully I got that in screen. And the master bath is nothing short of phenomenal, especially for a camper. Aside from how they appoint it, make it look, and all that, there is hardly a step up to get into the shower. Glass doors, of course, are awesome. Flip down seat. And then, uh, I mean, it speaks for itself. You don't typically find this in a camper. Obviously, these North Points are a little nicer. Nicer fifth wheels will have nicer bathrooms, but... I'm still just always blown away. Alright, I don't even know where to start in here with you guys. So, here's the bed. Cross ventilation. It does come with all these pillows. It's not just, uh, hey guys, figure it out. I don't know if you noticed all these little uh, light controls sitting all around, but you can turn lights on, all that kind of good stuff. These are just temperature sensors, so you love different zones. Dresser over here, nice underlit television in here this is a quiet cool air conditioner don't have that big gaudy thing sitting in the middle here so hey there's me again very very nice that way this is of course prepped for washer dryer shelves kind of throughout there are more pillows sitting in here i don't know if you can make it out too good it's kind of dark but there's storage and shelves and a whole nine yards sitting in here so Maybe if I, uh, I do this, you'll get a better view. But plenty of space. A little fold-out hamper. Uh, of course, what wouldn't be uh, complete without your ability to channel into the Wi-Fi world and do whatever you want to do. So it is prepped and ready to rock and roll with that. Of course, buy your own cards, all that good stuff. So, very, very nice unit. It uh, it does come with a very, very nice price tag, of course. You don't just get this for 20 grand. You got to spend a couple more times that. But definitely worth it. As always, if you guys have any questions, just let me know.